now let's close the database and test the the splash screen now you can use the close database uh, the close database feature right here save the changes now let's open the database once again now when you open the database it automatically opens this form now this is the display form now this is the rough idea of uh, creating a splash screen in microsoft uh, access now you can use this idea to, to create your own uh, splash screen you can add uh, your own customized pictures logos for example you are creating a database for a certain institution you can modify it the way you want well, thanks for watching and i'll see you later in this video i'm going to show you how to create a microsoft access splash screen now a splash screen is a is an interface that is used as a navigation menu where you can select an a, a action that you want to to execute for example you want to view a certain form or view a certain report you can use uh, the the splash screen now the first thing you have to do is to create a blank form now to create a blank form move to the create tab and then click on the blank form now after click, clicking on the blank form it will open this window which is which is obviously blank now the next step is to move to the design view so that you can start uh, designing our splash screen now the database that i'm using is a is a auto automobile company database it has a uh, three tables and three forms and some queries that are generated now the splash screen is going to have uh, the name of the company and and uh, buttons that will go to the that that can be clicked to go to the to the forms and the query reports now after uh, moving to the design view first of all let's add a background image so that at least our spl splash screen can be can be at least better appealing to the eyes let let me select the picture that i used the while back okay now we've selected we've uh, selected a background image now the next thing is to add text the the name of the company or uh, the automobile company now move to the to the design tab there's a text uh, button right here which is capital and small a which is uh, called the label click on it then drag just right here now you can type type for example this uh, let me say this company is called uh, one automobile company automobile company now let's uh, move this text let me bold bold let me change the color to a color that can be easily seen let's go with uh, i think let's just go with red red can be easily seen okay let's increase the font I think now it's it's a little better. Now after we've added the title, now we're going to add a button that will close the database. When you click the button, it will close the database. Now to do that, move to the design tab. We're going to use this button, which is used to execute execute tasks. Click on the button, move down here, just drag. Right, uh, left click and hold uh, and drag to create a button now move to move to application now in the application there's only one one task which is quit application go to next and then select text now in the text you can modify let's say close close uh, 
database close database and then click ok click next and then finish now obviously the close uh, application the close database button has to be somewhere down here now you can move it right there now let it be like right there now the next uh, button we're going to create are buttons that uh, move to the individual forms for example someone wants to uh, to add that in the payment form or the buyer form or the vehicle form that they're going to create now let's add a label let's uh, say add add data let's uh, bold it and make it let's uh, let's use another a different color a color that can be easily seen mm. let's just go with red the background bold and then the font you can also underline so if they use the add, uh, add data now yeah, this is just a, <coughs> a text label now let's add the, the buttons to which will uh, redirect a user to the individual forms now still in the design tab we, we are using the button the button uh, just drag to create a, a button now yeah, we are going to use form operation form operation and then open form go to next now it will display all the forms that you have in your database let's let let's start with the payment form go to next next now open form to show all records and then text now here yeah, remove the open form and then let's say edit edit payment details details and then click next finish let's edit edit payment details now let's create for the buyer buyer form form operation open form go to next next and then here yeah, edit edit by uh, buyer details click next and then finish now uh, the last one which is which is a vehicle form operation open form vehicle form next edit vehicle details vehicle details and then next and then finish now we've added uh, the buttons that can be used to direct directly move to the specific forms so let's uh, generate some reports and add them to a to a splash screen i'm going to use the the tables generate reports let's create a reports finish also buy a report next next finish also vehicle report finish now let's go back to, to our splash screen splash view reports reports is going to be our label
inside uh, the, the buttons I'm going to use the report operation the, the, the open report next I'm going to use the payment report you can you can modify this text for example view payment report next and then finish let's add another one report operation open report the buy view buy report By report next and then finish then the next one is the next one is the vehicle the vehicle report the vehicle report finish now you've created uh, these six buttons the first ones will open the forms and the second ones will open the will open the reports now let's go back to the to the design view to the uh, to the data sheet view now this is our the the <coughs> our splash screen is looking right now we can go back to the design view and modify it a bit Make sure these buttons align. If you click for example edit payment details it will direct you to the to the payment form and also in the payment form you can add the back button which if you click the back button it will take you back to the splash screen now to add the back button let's move to the design view we are, we are also going to use this button add the button somewhere right here now I'm going to use form operation, open form. I'm going to select the splash next. Now in the text, uh, we just type back. Next and then finish. Now let's go back. We can also add a background. Let's add this background and then go back to the design view. Now when I click back, it will take me back here. Now I go there and then I click back, it takes me back to the splash screen. Now also edit by details, let's also do that. Let's add uh, the, the back button. From operation open form. Back. then finish you can also adjust the size the size of your report of your form let's also add a background image to make it more presentable now when i click back it takes me back let's also do the exact same thing to the vehicle form design view operation open form splash back and then finish now it also takes me back now the same thing can be done can be done to uh, also these reports because the you can move to the design view and add the button now 
also <coughs> you can add the splash the splash screen to be the form that is that is displayed when you open the database to do that you move to the file tab options tab and then current database in the current database there is an option called display form now right now there is no it's none there's no display form selected now to select a form that will be displayed every time you open the database just click this drop down arrow and then select splash and then click ok now you have to restart your database in order for the changes to take effect now the the next thing that you can do is uh,